Okay, so we're recording this session. We're going to start working on the uh, theoretical framework. Okay, so yep. um, show me what you have. I'm going to share you my screen. Okay. Um, yep. Are you watching the screen? Yes, I'm watching. Okay, so I I guess I am, we just begin with this. Um, I mean, I haven't worked in more, but with Lina, we started creating the conceptual framework. <laughs> She's going to talk to you about that uh, later on. But we <coughs> defined um, two two important uh, variables that are in this case oral production and linguistic factors involved in the oral proficiency. Mm -hmm. Okay, so based on Harrison, um, he points the, the main linguistic aspects at producing a language. So those linguistic aspects can be or or part of our theory and explaining them on the uh, I mean conceptualizing them on the on the framework that you're going to do. Um, we are going to point those those factors because those are factors and then according to to Ruti and Vega and well I, I i forgot to write that part um we found the difficulties so those difficulties are extremely linked to the to the linguistical factors that are sometimes how can i say it? um it is non respected or yeah there are forbidden by the students Forbidden, forgotten. Okay. While the students are producing their language, mm -hmm. and the second one is the um, the characteristics of a uh, of, of a second language acquisition and requirements according to the CFR for acquire a C1 level. Okay. Do you think that those are better? Okay. Those are good. Yeah, it sounds good, but the way you are. Um, showing these ideas are extremely elementary, right? So I would like you to add more uh, strong comments right here. For example, for the theoretical framework, those first two lines, for example, this section of the studies aim at defining the theories related to affecting factors of speaking that affect eight semester uh, students' oral production proficiency. But mm, I would like to write more, right? To, to be even more, um, how can I say this, descriptive in that part. So for the reader to be aware about the, the what? To be aware about the issues that he or she are going to encounter, um, mm -hmm. right, while reading. So but it's, you, so um, like a, it's guess, the theory I mean, that you're going to create, that you're going to relate. So that's okay, right? So I need you to write that. Uh, Introductory paragraph. In the second part, yeah, well, in the first part that says oral oral skill production, oral production skill. Correct that oral production skill. The, right. So, and linguistic factors involved in the oral proficiency. Okay. Yes, but tell the reader what is that, right? Yeah, so, I mean, but what is that I guess about? I was, I was on make it like a little bit as you did. Mm -hmm. So, for example, you did just like a, a brief, a brief introduction, mm -hmm. and then you said our production is the, for example, is the capability mm -hmm. of communicating a message, ta, 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 according to this author, um, ta, 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 y hablamos ahí, ¿sí? yes. something like that. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. So I guess that too. I I thought I'd make it like on, you did in your on your thesis. I mean, those. This is just the introductory part, and then we're going to review all the theories as I as you did, and as on some papers I saw that they did. So yeah, this is really elementary because this is like the beginning, but we needed we needed something to start, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it's like that. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, and the second so one did, says did you acquisition. Say something like, uh, yes. You said like something like about the authors that minimum ten, or we can like add more or 
the minimum is 10. No, I guess that I guess that there is not a, the a specific number, but try to create a, 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 an interaction. And what we're saying in this part, in this part, with the with the author's view, right? Yes. Because that, that's what you. So so I mean, there can be ten authors, but I mean, in this one can be three, in this one four, and in the conceptual framework can be six or something like that, right? Well, not in right. that way. You're going to use the authors. You're going to use the authors all the way around. Example: You're going to use this part. You're going to uh, use um, 25 um, studies, right, in total mm -hmm. for this semester. Meaning that those 25 um, ideas they need to be um, divided or contemplated into all the sections that you're going to work, right? So. Uh, you're going to use some of the authors inside the conceptual framework, some of them in the literature review, but of course you're using them inside the statement of the problem, and also you're using them inside the introduction, the justification, right? So that is going to be the order of the way in which you're going to use those authors, right? And also okay. inside the methodology, you're going to use uh, those uh, some other authors related to the methodology, uh, the design, the nature, the approach, um, the way in which you're going to collect data, the way in which uh, data is going to be defined, right? So it is going to be conceived in that way. So that's what I um, suggest you to do. Okay. So um, we also are reviewing, or we also uh, reviewed, and we also read some books about linguistics and about those kind of stuff. So um, are are those books considered for the literature review? Yes, of course. Sounds good. Okay. So for and example, for the, acquisition. For, that, for yes. So we're going to refrain, or rephrase something related from the common European framework of references. But if you find, for example, more information about uh, C1 level courses or users, it would be advisable to put them over there, right? Because you're, you're talking about acquisition of second language. Sorry, second language mm -hmm. acquisition. Mm -hmm. Second language acquisition. But uh, the second language acquisition could be uh, also implemented by, uh, or you can use, for example, Brown, 2001. A teacher, um, for example, there is a theory. For example, the first one can be about acquisition, the acquisition process according to Brown, da, 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 da. and then the second, the acquisition of a language of, of us, or a language, as I said, and that would be another paragraph. Yeah, but yeah, so but you can mix part, them. You can mix them. Mix part of theory. Yeah, you can mix them huh? because. You can mix, you can mix uh, those ideas. For example, uh, okay. and right? So for example, the second language language acquisition and uh, the, requirements, the requirements about a C1 level, they're going to be tied together, right? Because we need to, uh, to talk about some like how to acquire that, how to acquire the, the skills, and uh, mm -hmm. um, how to master those skills. So that's the issue. So here, what we mm -hmm. have to take into account is going to be something like the way in which we're going to link both of the aspects, right? And uh, yeah. if we're going to see, for example, if Brown, 2001, can give us any kind of idea on how to acquire this. Remember that in linguistics, in applied linguistics class, we saw um, something related to this, so the second language or foreign language acquisition theories, hypothesis, sorry, stated by, by Stephen Krashen. Right. My Therefore, question, yeah. Therefore, with that explanation that I gave you that time, uh, maybe you can use some elements from from it. Some elements from Passion and some from Brown, right? Yeah, it could be good because those are going to be theories, and the theory right here is not yeah. going to be is not going to to what to have a a due date, right? Because it was created, but maybe some updates, right, related to the second language acquisition process. Right, mm -hmm. and uh, in this case, what I would like you to do 
is to look also information about the actional uh, or in action oriented approach info about what action oriented approach i'm going to send you that via chat action oriented approach action oriented approach oriented. it's in the chat okay i'm put for right so yeah, in, and that teacher, part, that a, yeah. in that part we can uh look at that information about that um let me suggest you another book related to that idea okay we have brown No, teaching by principle. Sorry, the name of the of the what of the document is this, teaching by principles. So I'm going to copy it inside. I'm going to paste it inside the the chat. Okay, there, and that's it. And over there, you're going to find more information about uh, the language language acquisition, and and that's it. Right in all the yeah, did you find this? right inside the chat you can find that. Okay. And yeah. The... I mean, I could be... Yeah. You have, did you cut, did you paste the links or something? And the action oriented approaches for it's from the core European framework, for... but for you to see that in order for example, so the action oriented approach and the 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 what the the book about um teaching by principles and interactive uh, approach blah 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 um I, I think i can upload that information to to what to to a model for you to watch it right i guess i found some i found a pdf about yeah but, Brown, but teaching i'm by talking about principles. i'm talking about um the what i'm talking about the full book so a book, okay, a so, really long book, yeah. right? So I think I'm going to upload it, but I don't, know, I don't know if you find it, if you can find it. I don't know, but I'm going to upload it, right, for you to have access to that, or maybe or via WhatsApp I can send you that. Okay, so even better. Yeah, please. I mean, I, I opened it more because you send us a pack of books on your mm -hmm. drive, but I don't, I can't find it. I, I don't know if it was on, on research. I guess that it was on research on the research group on the linguistics. No, I'm not pretty sure. Yeah. Else, I can. No, okay. no, 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 no. Those, uh, those are going to be just how to conduct a research. Those are different, right? Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, paste it also in on WhatsApp for okay. us to read. Yes. Uh, you have... Yes, Lena. Teacher, I had some doubts, so mm -hmm. I wrote the conceptual framework. Mm -hmm. So I was working, but I don't know how to share my screen. To um, my... Okay. I'm going to stop sharing. But so now go to to the bottom below on the left left side of your screen. It's something like share screen, uh -huh. share your screen. Okay, share your screen now. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I can, I cannot. Now, just now, click on the on the part of the screen. It says something like "compartir pantalla okay. completa," and then click on "aceptar." Okay. Okay. Got it. So can you, you see? Me? Yes, I can see it. Mm -hmm. So I have. I've uh, been working on the conceptual framework, but I don't know if it is okay or I have to add uh, some authors or... Yes, of course, you need to add authors. In this case, what I would like you to do is to have um, a what? So we have, a more we have explained, here... A like more explained... Um, three... 
three. Yes. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. So we have here three aspects. Mm -hmm. uh, in the first one, we include like um, some factors that are related to the um, pragmatics. To the linguistics. Yes. Yeah. The main areas of uh, linguistics. That it, those factors are, you know, project and we explain it. Yeah. We explain it um, in, the, in the introduction of in the introduction part. Then we have the difficulties, but I don't know if it is okay to include them or... Yeah, of course, we need to include them. And then we have... Because, I mean, you need to cite the authors, right? But, for example, uh, let's say, what's, we, the, we, what's the meaning about grammar? So, use an author that talks about grammar and don't copy teacher, and paste. I used a PDF in yeah. which I found all this information. So no, I don't recommend I have you that. Like just I don't recommend you that. I recommend you to use. Paper no, I recommend you to look no, no. to look a, a lot of authors, right? In order for you yeah. to create a concept, don't copy and paste the concept because that is plagiarism, right? Create your own con uh, concept based on what you have understood uh, about the creation of it, uh, or not? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, uh, create your own concept based on what you have read about the author. Okay. Mm. Yes, I guess that. And guess cite that the author because the author has created his own concept. Yeah. So here it is like a it's like a draft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is just the beginning, and and that was just the first paper. I yeah. mean, I know that due to your help, I mean, sending us of the Brown's book and the other book, mm -hmm. we could find Teacher, some more. So this is like the structure that. Like of the language. Uh, uh, I mean. Once again. Teacher, so this is like the structure, like the formal structure to that I have to to obtain like a good conceptual framework or. Yes, but for example, if you're talking about uh, the categories right here, try to create. Uh, for example. Here you said factors related to the grammar, but what uh, which, yeah, so use a par an introductory par paragraph in order to state or to tell the author what is he or she going to read in, in this part, right? So I think that that's it. Okay. Okay. Questions? More questions about this? Mm, I guess that it, it it is a bit clear. So. So um, start writing. Yeah, having right. now. Yeah, we just need to start writing. Yeah, as okay. you said. Any um, anytime yeah. you need a tutorial, let me know. Write me for me to to create a space, and for us to have a okay. a tutorial time, right? Okay, okay, teacher. Okay, for me to solve you to okay. solve some ideas. Remember to read chapter number three, if I'm not wrong, from Creswell. Yeah. Creswell. In, no, Christensen and Burke Johnson in chapter number four from Creswell, if I'm not wrong, about the literature review and the theoretical framework. Okay. So read it. Okay. And, uh, conceptualize the whole ideas, right? And uh, no, that's yeah. it for you to see what is going to be the way in which this is going to be constructed. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Thanks a lot. And uh, well, I'm going to send you the the recording as soon as I finish uh, the the session today. So I'm going to upload yeah. it to the YouTube channel that I have created for for ethnographics, and that's it. Okay. Okay, teacher, and please try to uh, try to not forget the. The book? The books? Yeah, I'm going to send Please. it right now. Yes, yes. I stopped the, the recording. And okay, thank now. you. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Okay.